Hello guys, welcome to Co Academy. In this video, we'll be learning about IFRS. So let's get going. Suppose that you are an investor in India and you have money on you and you want to invest it somewhere. Now you come up with the idea that US financial markets are a bit stable and you want to invest in the United States, whereas you are based in India. Now, you, you choose a company, for example, you, you decide that you want to invest in Apple, that is, you want to buy the shares of Apple. Now, your decision, of course, will be based upon whether Apple is performing good and whether it will keep on performing in the future. It will keep on performing good in the future. So how would you know that? Well, you will pick up the financial statements of Apple. You will analyze the profit and loss account, balance sheet, statement of cash flows, and notes to the accounts. Now, the thing is, and the problem is that in India, you 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 are preparing the accounts are being prepared through different through different accounting standards. Whereas in the U.S., the accounts are prepared with different accounting standards. Now that creates a problem because uh, in the in the U.S., for example, the treatment of depreciation or appreciation of and revaluation of capital assets and fixed assets there might be different their, their treatment might be different and in india their treatment might be different so you are faced with a dilemma here because you are not sure whether the financial statements of apple reflect what they what they show that they reflect so there might be some accounting practices which show that the uh, apple is in profit but when you analyze them uh, as per the accounting standards in india you will you will see that okay the company is not making as much profit as it seems to be so in order to get around this problem, what IASB, International Accounting Standards Board, that is the global body which, which is responsible for setting accounting standards, came up with International Financial Reporting Standards or IFRS. IFRS were designed as a common global language for business affairs. That is, they were designed so that the, so that the performance of the business is communicated to the users wherever they be all around the world in a common language so that everybody once they see the financial statements they get it that okay this is what profit and loss account and this is what it shows whether the company is performing good or bad so that the accounts are understandable and comparable across international boundaries as was the case with the indian indian investor he wanted to uh, uh, invest in apple so he, he wanted financial statements in a way that they were easily comparable to other companies in india so that he can he can he can compare whether the companies in india are profitable or whether the companies in the us for example apple is profitable or which is more profitable so that is not possible unless all the financial statements across the world are prepared according to some common language and that is in, in the business sense that is called ifrs or international financial reporting standards now the rules to be followed by accountants to maintain books of accounts which is comparable understandable reliable and relevant as per the users that is both internal and external. So IFRS are basically rules which ensure that financial statements across all countries are prepared in the same language so that investors can compare the businesses in one country to that of another and they, they, they get a fair idea as to which businesses are performing well and if they want to invest in some other countries, they can easily do so. So that is the basic purpose of IFRS. Now, there are various IFRS international financial reporting standards which I'll be discussing in this channel one by one. Which, which tell us how to treat a particular item in what way. That's it for now. Thank you.